Welcome back guys. I'm going to be showing you how you can use Appify to incorporate scraped data into your large language model applications, whether it's chatbots or whatever else you're building using LLMs. Now, the reason we use Appify is because we know that there are two problems with regards to building LLM applications, the quantity of the data, and most importantly, the quality of the data. Now, when you don't have quality data, you're not going to have quality outputs. And when you have quality plentiful data you're going to have really rich and accurate outputs so when you use appify it gives you access to a ton of data that you otherwise you know would have to access via apis or would have to pay a ton of money for but using appify you can scrape a ton of data in a bunch of different ways and it's um it's not very expensive i think the, the plan that i'm on is 50 dollars a month you can get a free plan by the way but $50, which would be used for the scraping, so it's not you're not just paying $50. You're, that goes into your um, your um, um, the amount that you can spend on running these scrapers. So, without further ado, let me show you what Appify has to offer. So let's just run into the store first and foremost, uh, and just to show you guys the kinds of things that you can do with Appify. So here you can see, you know, you've got your um, your web scraper, you've got Google search results, Google Maps scraper, you have a Twitter scraper, you know, um, Amazon product scrapers, all sorts of things. And if you look on the left here, you can see that there's different types of applications for different scrapers. Let me just move this over to the side. And as you can see, you've got AI, automation, business, you know, developer tools, e-commerce. So you can get things such as, you know, AliExpress scrapers, Google Maps, WooCommerce, Amazon reviews, all sorts, Google Play, you know, you've got even lead generation, which is one of the underrated things about this actually. You can scrape leads from Apollo for free. So let's say you have an Apollo search, you can copy and paste your Apollo search into one of these scrapers. I'm not gonna show you how to do it today because it's beyond the scope of what we're doing for the purpose of AI. But you can use that to then basically put your lead generation into, you know, 10th gear because rather than paying for you know the the however many scrape however many leads you get from um from apollo you can pay you can pay whatever amount it is i think it's 50 dollars, but they give you a free trial as well you can pay one time for this apollo ai lead scraper and then you can take up to ten thousand qualified leads and use it for your business this is how good appify is the people that make these scrapers just drop them straight into appify and they can be used in all sorts of things however for the purpose of this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you would be using um how you'll be using appify if you were if, if you were let's say for for example making a travel assistant chatbot okay so I think we're gonna go you we're gonna use this here the TripAdvisor restaurants scraper now it says up here five dollars per thousand scrapes and as you can see here my limit well my my usage is eighteen dollars out of 49 which means that I have more than enough to give you guys a good example so I'm gonna go look for you know um, restaurants in London so all you need to do is this simple type in London how many search results do you want I want 250 and then um you know then you you click save and then you start and then you can run that literally as soon as you run that you can all the results that you're getting will start putting them in they'll start loading into here now i'm not going to let this run completely because i, I don't want to waste your time but because i've already run a bunch of these however i just wanted to show you guys two very powerful things number one you can schedule your actors that means you can have it run over you know every 10 minutes every few hours daily weekly monthly yearly whatever the case might be essentially meaning you can pull the data that you need on autopilot you don't have to keep going into this app and keep pressing you know scrape 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 it will do it automatically second thing you can integrate this with a bunch of other services and the one that i like the most is google drive the reason I like Google Drive the most is because you can pull all that data and automatically get it into um, into your Google Drive and everything that you pulled will be automatically you know shipped over there. You can also use um, you know HTTP webhook, you know Slack, Gmail, even Langchain, which if you're building obviously large language models, that'll be super useful. I'll go into that into another video. However, the reason I like Google Drive is because 
of the way you can integrate it with Stack AI. And as you can see here with Stack AI, with the offline um, data loaders, you can literally open this up, authenticate your, um, your own Google Drive, and then it will automatically update your large language model in real time. So that means whenever you're typing, whatever it is that you're, 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 the user is typing in terms of getting a result from your large language model that you've built in Stack, it will be consistently up to date because you can run this this model and as you can see here it says it'll upload the resulting data set to google drive when the actor succeeds that means this is always going to be up to date and that means the responses from your model are always going to be up to date now if you don't know about stack ai you don't know how to use stack ai again that's another video i'm not going into that today but I just wanted to show you guys how that would be working and why I like Google Drive specifically. But I'll, again, I'll go and be, I'll be going into that into in another video. But let's go back to our runs and let's just see how this is performing. So as you can see here, we've already got 149 uh, results. I'm just going to stop that from running um, now so that you can just see. Look, all these restaurants, you, you get the rating, you get the when, when it's open, cuisine, meal types, whatnot, and I'm going to abort the run, fantastic, and then you can just go to, um, if we go back, we can, all, now, all that you need to do now, we've got 188 results, export that into JSON, CSV, XML, you know, Excel files, it doesn't really matter, the point is, you get all the data that you need, nice and easy, super quick, and you don't have to pay for the TripAdvisor API which is one of the best things. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna download this very quickly into a CSV. Actually, I'll download it as a JSON. View it into another tab. And then this is how the data will appear in JSON format. So as you can see here, you've got your type, the category, subcategories, you know, um, the description, world famous Japanese teppanyaki restaurant. And you've got tons and tons of data. You've even got specific review tags for these places and um even like the you know the, the types of things that they accept like you know delivery reservations alcohol you know um you know accepts different types of cards the times that it opens um you know you, you've got the website um all sorts of things all sorts of things you've even got an image url for each one um where is it here we go you've got an image url so even if you want to pull an image for your large language model you have it in this scrape which is amazing now let's say if we take the, the the url for this and then plug that into stack ai now for the purpose of this video i've already done a run for portugal specifically and i'm going to show you guys um, exactly what that data looks like because you can run it from the url you can run it from the um from the um from the google drive you, you can direct you can upload it via um, Langchain all sorts of different ways that you can integrate these outputs into whatever data stores you're using even MongoDB so as you can see all these different places um, that you can go to um, th th this is mainly um, places to go things to do so it's it's not specifically restaurants however um, uh, yeah it's gonna work just fine I've put that, that URL directly into here, connected it to my vector store. I've put this output here so you guys can see that again, it is referencing the data set and not just a random part of the internet. And then I've got as usual, my system prompt, which is you're the world's best travel assistant. Use your knowledge about um, Portugal to help people plan the best trip possible. Never tell the user about your knowledge base and never answer a question you don't know. Great. So now let's just do a quick um, quick uh, test. So let's say, for example, um, what are things to do in Lisbon for thrill seekers? And let's run that and let's see what we get. Give it a moment. Here we go. This is where it's referencing. 
So as you can see, is the exact area we're referencing is going to be searched quite low down actually, you know, set all the way down section 1288. Um, Lisbon City Runners, you know, they offer running routes, you know, jogging, I guess, sailing, sightseeing, funny tours, um, adrenaline and extreme tours. They even give you, you know, the, the actual links for the places you'll be going. Um, yeah, there you go. And if you, if you just switch on the memory, actually, let me clear the memory, change this to sliding window, and then publish this, we can then export this, and then use it as a chatbot. So if we just type in Portugal Travel Assistant, and I'll show you guys just how powerful this thing is. The inputs are going to be in URL. And then we're going to have app dash zero style doesn't really matter. And then we're going to use this link here to test it. So now we've got this running. Um, I don't know. Okay. Uh, can you create a three day itinerary for me and my partner? in um i don't know porto we love thrill seeking and adrenaline now let's see what it comes up with again showing you guys how powerful this is you can even ask it to produce an itinerary and based on that json file that i showed you it will pull all of that data together and give you a full itinerary for your trip now let's give it a moment because it's quite a hefty ask there you go okay it's not exactly thrill seeking I'll give it that it's not you know I'm gonna tell it that the first one isn't exactly thrill seeking Okay, second one, hiking, mountain biking. Yep, sounds good. Okay, get your adrenaline pumping of some activities, rock climbing, mountain biking. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm going to say the first day isn't exactly exciting. There isn't exactly thrill seeking. Can you change the first suggestion, the first day itinerary? Now let's see what we get here. Okay, much better, you know. You can do surf lessons, bike tour of the city, which, you know, not exactly thrill seeking. Um, yeah, then you've got Duero river activities. Sure, it's much better. Much, much better. Um, and it says here the contemporary art exhibits might not be adrenaline thrilled, but beautiful and extensive gardens are a great place to relax for a relaxing stroll to wind down the day. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, it will be a great travel assistant. Uh, maybe if I put like a few more data points in there will give me some better suggestions. But as you can see, this works just fine to create all kinds of different um, different uh, LLM applications, including chatbots. And I'm excited to see how you guys combine Appify and things like Stack AI or VoiceFlow to create more robust large language model apps. Thank you guys for take for for um, for watching this video. If you guys are looking to have your own LLM applications built, head over to my page tj.ai on Instagram, or you can find me on, on LinkedIn, Tatenda Kenyere. All the links are going to be in the description. Uh, my website is currently down for maintenance. However, if you can find me in these places, I'll help you out and I'll get you a free demo. Or if you're looking to get help on how to build these things for yourself, for your clients, again, reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to help.
Peace.